CT Sport today, and today we're going to bring you some daily races. Uh, so we're going to bring off with daily race A, which is at Tsukuba, in the Mazda Roadster Touring Hall. And it's a qualified six, so meh, middle. Now, for honest with you, you are going to have to keep an eye on that Frenchman in fifth because his internet is like. Like the old, oh, and there's a bit of pandemonium at the beginning. But bef before the, all that pandemonium, uh, the French driver who's now in front of me, you know, he's going to be a bit all over the place in, in this race. Uh, see, off he goes, whee! Uh, because, well, I don't know what he's using for internet. I don't know if it's the old AOL dial up from like 1994. Or if it's generally just dead. <laughs> I have no idea. But you will see him go a bit sporadic a little bit from time to time. But yeah, so we're doing daily races we're doing daily races in this video. Um but I won't be doing daily race C in this video. Uh primarily because I well, it's something I don't, I don't know what day race C is because it is uh, it's five laps at the South in Group One. Uh, but the only problem with that race is, is due to the lobbies that I'm currently in with this account, uh, it's probably going to get extremely messy, and it probably just won't be very interesting. Well, it might be interesting to watch potentially because everybody f effing up. But for me, it won't be fun to race in. I mean, like these little shorter races. I don't know. I find I find these ones kind of a bit more fun. I think like the Sar with the with the long laps. For me, it would be a bit like I'll probably end up cutting most of it out anyway. So I've decided to not include it in this video. Uh, but you do get a bonus race after this because you've got daily race A, daily race B, and there's also a bonus race with the 125 shifter cards that I did in just for fun in the lobby but you can see I did see you and the Frenchman just magically reappears uh, I did qualify, so I qualified in 6, I did drop down a little bit I've managed to get myself back in 6 and you can see I'm car number 3 so primarily that's what I at least want to try and aim for that French guy's all over the place, he just magically just reappeared again. He's driving a very magical Mazda, apparently. But no, that's, but surprisingly, well, for, for, for my part anyway, surprisingly, actually, these Daily Race A and Daily Race B, B for me, quite surprisingly, was yeah, relatively quite clean. I mean, there was a few, obviously, a few bumps and scrapes along the way, obviously. You know, but that's bound, you know, and there's a few close calls and stuff like that, you know, so, you know, that's obviously bound to happen. You know, it's something that happens, and it sort of, well, I didn't tend to happen too much in racing this as to a degree. But in the game, you know, it's going to happen. So, yeah. And plus, anyway, this is my more have a laugh, have a bit of fun account, anyway. Hence why I'm still, like, DRC and SRB. Because I haven't been trying to get higher early search, I've just been, you know, I've gone for more of a relaxed approach. So I've finally got past the Frenchman. And so let's see if he's able to do a nice clear lap this time round without magically teleporting left, right, and centre. Uh, Sukuba! I don't know, Sukuba! On its layout, it seems quite simple, but I always think that I, but I always think that I seem to be a bit slower in some places than I should be. I don't know what that is. I'm not quite sure what the tie show that is about, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just slow. Maybe I'm just rubbish. Uh, but fortunately, the German there. Obviously, who was in third? Fortunately, he had an incident. I don't think he had an incident with any of the other drivers because none of them got a penalty. So I go for when he might have spun out potentially. But thanks for that, I've now managed to climb over to third. So, oh no, we're going quite alright actually. So I've managed to get to my car number at 
least, which is at least where he is. And off he goes! Poop! And he's back behind me again. <laughs> oh, the magic of no internet. But no, I would say normally, yeah, when you come and when you do a race, you're really, you do want to try and aim for what your car door is. That's what you want to try and aim for. For as long as your race has been clean, that's what you want to try and aim for. Now, obviously, obviously, if your car, like, uh, there's 12 people in racing, your car 11, then it's kind of like, yeah. But I mean, like, you know, if you start like me, I started at 6, and my car number is 3, just gaining in 3 places, it's not, okay, it's not always easy, but it's not exactly the hardest thing in the world either. So it's kind of sort of like, it gives me something to aim for. And I've managed to get that by some luck. I will say, not all it wasn't really too much about skill, be perfectly honest, with you, but by luck. But I managed to bring it home in third place. So all in all, not bad, not bad at all. So there we are. And at three positions, and finishing third in the Black Little Master. So on to race B. Alright, okay, we're at race B this week. Uh, we are in group 3. And I've decided to use the. Now, the dominant car for this was slight Huracan with a slight sprinkle of the GTR. Uh, but I thought, screw that. And I decided to go for the. I decided to go for the M6. At this moment, I'm just trying to find out what car number I am on car 12. Alright, so I'm, I'm already up. So I'm already off to not a bad start. Because in the qualifying in 8th place. So, you know, qualifying, yeah, wasn't amazing, but again, around about halfway up through the field. Oh. Well, now we're going to keep, want to keep an eye on this French driver in front of me. It's all about the French today. At the moment, it's all about the French people. What's wrong with you French people? <laughs> but no, we just want to keep it. Um, there's a. I'm going to be involved in an incident very shortly, which at, at the time I thought it was someone else was the cause of it. Uh, it's, I thought it was the BMW behind me who's behind me. Uh, but it turns out I watched the replay again from different angles, and it wasn't actually the BMW, it was actually the Frenchman in the Beetle. So I'm going to get slightly tapped off here. Now, unfortunately, I get, I get, I get hit off. Okay, I do lose a few positions. I'm all going. Uh, but originally, I thought, I thought that the, uh, I think it was, the, I think it was a German driving the BMW. Originally, I thought he might have braked like a little bit late, or he didn't count the slipstream, was breaking, and just unfortunately, just hit me off. Not intentionally, though. He, at no point where, where did I actually think it was in, in, intentionally. I, the whole time I thought it was just a pure accident. Uh, but well, after watching replay, it turned out that the guy in the, the French driver in the Beetle just unfortunately just braked a little bit late and then hit the German in BMW, which then hit me. And then, unfortunately, I was the one who unfortunately got the short end of the stick. So, unfortunately, I dropped down to 14th. I managed to gain one position back up. So now I've got to sort of like get back up again to about 8th or 7th at least. Back to at least where I roughly where I start. So here, yeah, loads of people go wide, and it's like, all right, fair enough. Let's gain some more positions. All right, I'll just take tenth. <laughs> so I managed to gain three positions in that for in T1 because loads of people are going wide. Uh, probably probably a little bit slow there. Also probably a little, a little bit slow. Uh, the Porsche there coming in, coming back on at a really sharp angle, almost causing a crash. But lucky enough, I did I did notice him. I was like, all right, move over a little bit more. But yeah, he came he came, he came back in at a very sharp angle, and then he's gone off. <laughs> there you see, I interviewed is sporting a a Nelly dance school. Yeah, I'm not sponsored. <laughs> but I thought I thought because I've been trying to get them 
a girlfriend. You know, she's been having a little bit of a laugh and a giggle with the game, messing around. I mean, she's not going to appear in any videos at any point very soon, for God's sake. She'll be like wrecking the place. But I thought, you know, I'm allowing her. So I'm allowing her to actually use some of the cars and actually allowing her to kind of have quote <laughs> some of the cars that I'm not that I don't really use that often. And I thought I'll let her have this one or let her have this use this one more often for as as her group three. And since she goes to a dance school, which is a Nelly dance school, I thought a great library. There you go, and then that's cool. That way, that way, then it's easy to tell that that's hers. <laughs> but right, but here's another surprising thing that I didn't see coming. Uh, apart from what num P8 does in a second, there you go. And he's gonna say, just go to the right. Now I don't know if he's trying to defend there. Or if he was going to, or if he wanted to try and make me go wide and like go make me go off the track. Uh, but unfortunately he didn't account that he was a ghost. So it kind of failed. <laughs> but also surprisingly enough, uh, I think his name is some, it's something like Everton 6644 or 6844. Something along those lines. I think it but I think it begins with Everton. But surprisingly enough, Everton was actually, turns out he was 75 years old. <laughs> Which I did not expect. <laughs> so, we have a 75 year old, we have either, we have possibly, potentially someone's granddad racing with us today at Red Bull. Ring. Now, I don't know. Or it could be Gra or it could be Grandma. I'm going to pursue more lightly. It's Granddad, to be perfectly honest with you. But it could be a grandmother, for all I know. But at the same time, it's sort of like now why he did that, tried to do that, like what looked like trying to push me off kind of move. Now I don't know if he was told by his son to do that, or if he was told by his grandson to do that, or told by his his daughter or his granddaughter. Or if it was somebody's grandmother, that maybe it was his, you know, his wife or their husband, or you know, and vice, you know, on all the same kind of things. That maybe they were told to do that. I don't know. Either that, or we were just thought like, no, you ain't passing me. Respect your elders, hmm. kind of thing, you know. And it's like, unfortunately, mate, this is racing. We don't respect our elders in the race. We might respect our elders after the race, but during the race. We don't respect our elders. But, yeah, I was quite surprised to find out the guy was actually 75 years old. I mean, did alright. I mean, okay, yeah, he, okay, I think he finished 8th in the end, I think, still. But I think he did manage to, he did manage to go up some position, so... Fair enough for the old codger. <laughs> fair enough. Now, I don't know what lap I'm on. What lap are we on? Alright, so we're on the final lap. <laughs> Alright, so I've managed to get myself back up to seventh, because then I dropped, did drop down to fourteen. So yeah, it's not my my best result, but I've managed to get, I've managed to make a pretty reasonable recovery. I would say. I think the, I think the recovery was pretty reasonable. So. My fastest that time, I think, it was actually faster than my qualifying. I think. It's even that, or it's just a little bit off, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, so we're on the final lap. Uh, there is potential to get six. It's going to be a bit tricky to pull it off, but it's not impossible. But I do have to rely on an accident happening. For that to happen, to be honest with you. Yep, so we're coming near the end. Just a couple more corners to go. And someone does have a penalty. I think it's fifth. Does have a penalty. So now sixth place has changed. Now I am sort of catching up, but do am I able to do this in the last couple of corners? I'm not close enough to do it. So oh, at the end, finishing the seventh. I started in 8th, 
got knocked down to 14 and then finished in 7th all in all yeah I think I did alright you know yeah wasn't the best result but I think I made a reasonably a reasonable recovery on that I reckon and your Kodger in 8th through 75 years old also didn't actually do too badly so respects to him but that's it for the daily races so now on to the bonus race so this one's going to look a little bit different because I didn't actually record the slide from the race because I wasn't planning to put this in the video. Uh, but then I did this, but then object I've done daily race A, daily race B. Couldn't really be asked to do daily race C because I'll probably end up cutting most of it out and it'd just be a bit like, what's the point of me recording it if I'm going to cut most of it out? So we're back at Sakuba again. But we're all in the 125 shifters. I get a bit of a boost around that, around that happen. I managed to get a bit of so I'm in fourth. So I think I started in fourth, I think. But you know, I'm in fourth, so oh, I'm still doing too bad. You've dropped down to fifth. Climb back at the fourth. Got third. So again, it's like this race. I thought that personal stuff, I thought this race was just gonna go all over the shop. But quite surprisingly, it wasn't actually that bad. I mean, yeah, again, a couple of little bumps here, a couple of little scrapes there. Or at least for my race, anyway. But I had fun. And that's the thing. You don't see a lot of people doing the lobby races with the go with these go out. I keep, I keep wanting to go to call it a go kart, but I'm pretty sure if I call it a go kart, people who do karting as like as like an actual sport kind of thing like do like these like leagues and joint leagues and week weekend events and stuff like that but I'm pretty sure if I call it a go-kart they'd be insulted by it but I'm sorry <laughs> I just keep calling it a go-kart it's a one two five shifter but they're actually I actually quite like actually driving these things that's the thing but not a lot of people do host races with them I'm not totally sure what that, what that is. I, I think it might just be because it's, yeah. For a lot of people, they're not fast enough. Or it could be just because people think, oh, races in these go-karts can be very messy because they're very sort of like sporadic, you know, very, very sporadic, you go left and right kind of thing. But if you know how to control it, it's actually quite, it's quite a lot of fun driving it. I mean, yeah, probably do them on a slightly, like, kind of a big, long, winded track. Maybe a bit, like, tedious. But something short, simple, like Sakuba, it's perfect for it. Because I think Sakuba is meant to be a motorcycle, uh, for, like, motorcycle GP and stuff like that. So basically for, for motorbikes, rather than actually cars. So I think that's why it's quite short, it's quite a short track. For that, and it's quite a thin track, effectively as well, because it's not exactly massively wide. And there's like, you know, you know, it's not, it's not exactly the most wide track. Oh yeah, I know at the moment. I know at the moment it looks very wide, but that's just because you're in a little tiny one two shift the car. You know, it's going to look massive. <laughs> but. I think it's primarily used for um, from like motor motorbike races and stuff like that. Maybe like motor GP. I don't know if they race here or not. I'm not totally sure, but but I but I can remember when this was the daily race as well, and I had a lot of fun there as well. So all in all, yeah, the go karts were very fun. So I'm still up in third. I think I might drop down at one point. For a little bit, and then managed to get a third back. Now, you see, there's a little bump there, but if anything, I actually, actually, if anything, I helped him more than bloody hindered him on that, on that occasion. So I believe, I believe this is the final lap. Again, I had to. I've recorded this one has been done differently because I didn't actually record it straight from the race. So I literally have no idea what lap I'm on. I'll know it by the end. I'll know which lap I'm on, not because I finished, but because, just because of how the race, because of how the race finishes. So I believe this is the final lap though. 
So he's got me and two Spaniards. And put him on, on all the podiums. Unfortunately, I lost a little bit out on that corner. Yeah. We've got one more corner to go. So I'm like, alright, let's go to here. And I'm going to go that wide. And then we're going to try and get on the inside and undercut them. And we are literally, you know, if I saw my side, and I just, I just about get second. Just about. But that's it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. So please remember to like and subscribe. And share to a new friend. Until next time, I will see you all at the finishing line.